Today, I'm going to share with you a hack how to put on an overgrip. This hack is going to enable you to put on your overgrip with no scissors, no cutting off, no taping. So, we have my racket, we have my grip. I'm just going to straighten this out a little bit. So you've got two ends. You have the small end, which you normally start with, and then the fatter end at the far side. We're actually going to start off with the fat side. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring this in half. So we're just going to make the two ends meet here. We're going to bring it in half. And squeeze it together. The great thing about these Babala overgrips is they're quite sticky. So that's already starting to stick together. And this is going to be the beginning. So we've got the two ends here, as you can see. Bring them together, and they're going to point down my racket. So we're going to start like we normally do, at the edge of the racket. And we're going to wrap this around twice. So again, just pulling it nice and tight. That is one rotation. I'm going to wrap it around one more time. I'm going to pull it nice and tight, create some tension there so the grip doesn't slip. And this is a really good hack, and you find a lot of pro players use this hack, because uh, they're constantly changing over grips during practice sessions. And it just takes time. When you're cutting it off, sometimes you cut it in the wrong place, and it looks a bit weird. Um, but this hack is absolutely brilliant. It's one I've been using now for many years. So as you see, I'm getting towards the top of my grip. And at this point, normally, if you haven't got a pair of scissors, you will have to start going over three or four times. As you can see, I'm literally just getting to the very top of my grip. I don't need any scissors. I've already pulled off the tab. I just pull it nice and tight. Finish it off. Put it together, and there you have it. One over grip put on, no scissors required. I can get on my practice and get playing. It's not too thick or bulky at the bottom either, as you can see. It's pretty good. You may get a slight kink here and there, but the more you practice this, the better you'll get. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed it, smash that like button. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I'm Steve Whelan, and I'll see you soon.